2015 was a mixed year for me. While I can honestly say I've enjoyed some really phenomenal games, it's really been quality over quantity, and that's why number 5 on my list goes to absolutely nothing. The fact that I've only been able to find 4 games that I could justify as this year's best might seem to imply that it's been a bad year for games, but that isn't the case. This has been a year of huge games, games that have taken up so many days and nights that I've easily been engrossed throughout the year. To anyone who's watched our content before, this may come as a bit of a surprise, as Fallout 4 is a game that I've been quite critical of since release. I've struggled to describe it as anything less than a technical mess, and somewhat of a letdown based on previous entries in the series. However, despite all the bugs and the glitches, along with somewhat disappointing visuals, Fallout 4 has still managed to capture my imagination. Exploring the irradiated wasteland is rewarding as it's ever been, and the crafting and customization has made a huge jump from the previous generation. I'll stand by my statement, Fallout 4 still is a technical mess, but for all its flaws, it still succeeded me in dragging me into its world for hours on end. I may still be blinded by the nostalgia goggles here, but revisiting Gears of War, this time with remastered HD graphics, reminded me why it's one of my favourite game series of all time. And not only that, it also reminded me that any developers not using chainsaws on their guns by now really need to get into the 21st century. Gears of War Ultimate still suffers from the same issues as the original. The Krill is still a nuisance, the Ram fight is still frustrating as hell, but the same old charms remain as well. I can honestly say that there's few things I've missed more since the jump to Xbox One than crushing some locust skulls between Delta Squad's steroid inflated legs. Tell you I find it hard to take when people run in circles, it's a very, very bad Most of the year lamenting my fears over the direction Halo 5 appeared to be taking, I couldn't have been more pleasantly surprised upon its release. Halo 5 plays as well as it ever has, but it's the spectacular campaign set pieces and the addictive Warzone mode that's really set it apart for me. The story faltered at times, but does that really matter when you find yourself running and gunning vertically down a giant spaceship super weapon thing? No. No it doesn't. Halo 5 puts its own twist on the classic Halo multiplayer, but it's added AI enemies and other team based objectives puts together probably the best multiplayer experience on the Xbox One, topped off with the quality soundtrack that we're always going to expect from Halo, and you get a game that would easily top most years game of the year lists. absolutely no one, my game of the year for 2015 is The Witcher 3. This is a game that I anticipated more than any other and one that's absolutely lived up to the hype. It's delivered not only my favourite game of the year, but probably one of my favourite games of all time. I could put all my adoration of this game down to the beautiful environments, the wealth of customization options and the unicorn sex scenes, but the truth is it's down to so much more than that. The Witcher 3 made me care about its characters, about its world, and really about games in general. The Witcher 3 is a game that showed me just how good games can be. It gave me characters that I both loved and despised, it gave me a dark and disturbing plotline that genuinely left me shaken at times, but it forced me to keep playing on. CD Projekt Red took on Andrzej Sapowski's already fascinating world and brought it to life along with the stories within it in a way that no movie could have ever accomplished. You can nitpick and find complaints about it, you can say it's too easy or it's too hard, the combat's repetitive, whatever you want to say, but there's no way to argue that The Witcher 3 is one of the greatest game worlds ever created, and whether you're Team Yennefer or Team Triss, it's without a doubt the best game of 2015. 